Hello friend, welcome to Grade Up. My name is Vikas, and in my previous video tutorials, I have covered the subject of thermodynamics on Grade Up. Okay, in which I have covered the entire syllabus of Grade 2019 thermodynamics. Okay, check out the link below for free Gate course that has more than 200 videos along with this video, followed by doubt sessions, previous paper, and more than 250 quiz from Grade Up. If you see that the in the syllabus of gate 2018 thermodynamics, after the thermodynamics comes the ap application part of applied thermodynamics, okay, in which there are basically four subjects or four topics, refrigeration, air conditioning, power plant engineering, IC engine and turbo machinery, okay. So now I will be doing some series of video tutorials on applied thermodynamics in which I will be covering those four subjects, okay. And these four subjects are very important because every year in the GATE exam, these four subjects come in maximum marks of 8 and minimum marks of 4, okay. So I have done a weighted analysis of previous year GATE question, uh, question or question paper in which I have seen that from year 2013 to 18, applied thermodynamics uh, part, uh, part in the GATE exam is uh, from a marks of 3 marks to 8 marks, okay. So the weightage is between 3 to 8 marks, okay. So we can say that on average it is 5 or 5.5 or you can say 6 marks on an average on an average of 6 marks applied thermodynamics part is uh, coming in the gate exam every year okay. So now we will be focusing our uh, video tutorials or uh, my video tutorials will be on applied thermodynamics part since we have covered the thermodynamics your concept on thermodynamics are cleared. So we will be using those concepts or those principles of thermodynamics to start our application part or application areas of thermodynamics which are basically refrigeration and air conditioning, refrigeration and air conditioning power plant engineering IC or internal combustion engine, internal combustion engine and hydraulic turbines or turbo machinery, hydraulic turbines, okay. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Trade Up. So if you'll have a quick look at the syllabus of Gate 2019 Applied Thermodynamics. So from these four subjects, Refrigeration Air Conditioning, IC Engine or Internal Combustion Engine, Power Plant Engineering and Turbo Machinery, the topics from these four subjects are in the REC, basically Vapor and Gas Refrigeration System and Heat Pump Cycle, Properties of Moisture or Psychometric Chart and Processes, okay. In this uh, refrigeration and conditioning part, we will be studying the working of a refrigerator and air conditioning, how, what is the working cycle of uh, refrigeration and air conditioning, okay. And in IC engine or internal combustion engine, we will study that how our automobile, okay, in which our internal combustion takes place, what are the basic governing cycle or air standard cycle for our uh, petrol engine and diesel engine. So basically in petrol engine we will be studying about auto cycle and diesel cycle and we will be also studying what is a dual cycle okay in which in dual cycle partly heat addition will be based on auto cycle and partly on diesel cycle okay. So we will be studying these three air standard cycle in internal combustion engine okay. We will be also studying that what how we can calculate the efficiency of a of these three uh, cycles or uh, air standard cycles. In power plant engineering, we will be studying about what are different air and gas compressors, what is vapor and gas power cycle in which we will be studying about Rankine cycle, Rankine cycle, okay, and how Rankine cycle is different from Carnot cycle. We will also studying about Brayton cycle, okay. So as we know that cycle which is based on vapor power cycle is Rankine cycle 
okay in which water is converted into steam and that steam will be used to run turbine to produce electricity and in gas power cycle which is will be based on brayton cycle okay so we'll be studying how how these cycles are different and uh, how what, how can we can calculate the efficiency for this power cycle and along with that we'll be also start introducing the concept of regeneration and reheat basically these two components regeneration and reheat or reheater are used in this vapor power cycle to increase the efficiency or work output okay so you will be going uh, going through this concept of refrigeration uh, oh, sorry regeneration and reheat in turbo machinery basically we'll be studying about hydraulic turbines okay and the component of hydraulic turbines okay those turbines which works on kinetic energy of the water okay so in which we will be studying about the principles of impulse and reaction for turbine we will be also studying the velocity diagram for pelton turbines francis turbine kaplan turbine etc okay so we will be going up through these topics in these four subjects or applied thermodynamics so if we talk about the reference book for these four subjects for refrigeration air conditioning there is a very good book from an indian author called cp aroda refrigeration and air conditioning by cp aroda this is a very good good, uh, good book for numerical approach and theoretical concepts okay so you can uh, go through this book if you want to uh, clear some concept okay although i will be trying to clear some of your concept regarding ref refrigerator air conditioning and different thermodynamic uh, sorry refrigeration processes or psychometric process but still if you want to go into depth so you can refer this book of cp aroda if we talk about internal combustion engine or ic engine you must have studied this book in your btech okay this is a very good book by indian author called v ganeshan okay uh, you must have practiced a lot of numerical questions and i am telling you this book is very good if you want to practice good questions and also concept point of view this is another book by mathur and sharma mathur sorry mathur and sharma this is also an, a good book for internal combustion engine so if you want to refer this book you, this is also a good book if we talk about power plant engineering then since we have studied pk nag for thermodynamics so for power plant engineering also pk nag is also a very good book so you can refer this book for power plant engineering and for turbo machinery or hydraulic turbines you must have studied this book fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines by rk bansal this is a very good book if you want to practice lot of uh, questions and also from theoretical and concept point of view okay so these were some books for these four subjects of applied thermodynamics now i will be starting my video lectures from these uh, applied thermodynamics part of uh, subjects starting from refrigeration and air conditioning okay so this is a very interesting subject in which you will be studying the working of refrigerator and air conditioner okay in which in which you will study how what are the cycles working cycle behind a refrigerator and air conditioner or for a refrigeration cycle also we will be studying what is in refrigerant or what is the working substance behind this refrigeration cycle okay and what are different types of refrigerant how we represent that or nomenclature of the refrigerant okay so basically i'll be covering these topics in my refrigeration and air conditioning video tutorial okay so the first topic is vapor compression refrigeration system in which well, i will tell you about the four basic components of vapor compression refrigeration system okay which which will be compressor compress compressor condenser throttling device and evaporator okay so this is a very good uh, topic vapor compression refrigeration system because every year in gate exam at least one question is from this topic vapor compression refrigeration system okay either it's from theoretical point of view or numerical point of view next topic is vapor absorption refrigeration system this is a refrigeration system which works on heat okay or heat governed refrigeration system which works on waste heat this is very good refrigeration system because if you uh, in other refrigeration system you will be using heat work input 
to produce a refraction effect but in vapor absorption system you you can you use waste heat waste heat which is available in a large of quantity and that waste heat can be used to produce lower temperature of a system as compared to surrounding then we will be studying about refrigerant okay and what are types of refrigerant okay in which you will be uh, introduced with the concept of the eco friendly refrigerant and why this eco friendly refrigerant are used okay and uh, we will be also studying about the properties of refrigerants okay then we will be studying about gas refrigeration system which works on reverse brayton cycle reversed brayton cycle this is also called bell coleman cycle bell coleman cycle okay so in refrigeration or all the air cars are based on this bell coleman cycle so this is very important cycle and the last is psychometric process for air conditioning okay for clearing the concept of air conditioning we will be using this psychometric process in which you will study psychometric chart okay which will be telling you about the four conditions that is heating cooling humidification which is addition of moisture and dehumidification okay so you will be introduced with these processes in psychometric process and you will be studying how we can achieve the comfort such conditions in our room or indoor conditions by correct configuration of these process okay so in this psychometric chart we will be studying about this for process okay so this is all about refrigeration air conditioning topics that i will be cover i will be covering in my video tutorials on rac or refrigeration air conditioning so i will be giving a a short note or short name to this refrigeration air conditioning although this is also name uh, known by this name rac okay this is a short name or acronym for this refrigeration air conditioning rac okay so what is refrigeration air conditioning refrigeration friends is a process of producing a lower temperature as compared to surrounding okay so suppose there is a space in which you want to achieve a lower temperature as compared to surrounding so the process of achieving that lower temperature of a system as compared to surrounding is called refrigeration and the working fluid which is used for that is called refrigerant okay and in air conditioning we will be studying about the comfort conditioning in which will be studying that air is composed of basically dry air plus moist air or water vapor and we need to achieve a correct configuration of this dry air moist air to supply a pure air to a room to achieve proper air conditioning okay so we need to supply cooled and conditioned air to a room for uh, proper air conditioning or comfort conditioning okay so in refrigeration air conditioning part we'll be studying about these two things well refrigeration is basically used for food preservation or keeping some eatable items at lower temperature so that they can be kept fresh okay for long time and comfort conditioning is all about the conditioning of a human body in which you can feel good or comfort at your place okay so this is all we'll be covering in refrigeration air conditioning video tutorial okay so this is all for today in the next video lecture we'll be starting from the first topic of rac or refrigeration air conditioning that is vapor compression refrigeration system okay so i'll be covering the theory behind that from gate point of view and also some very good previous air guard questions from this topic okay so this is all for today thanks for watching and have a nice day stay tuned to grade up thank you